to teach anything effectively, you've got to know what to teach and you've got to know how to teach it. And essentially those two things, subject knowledge, you have to know exactly how content lines up from one thing to the next to the next. And then you have to know the pedagogy of how to deliver it. And unless you're running those two things together and allowing teachers to explore this for themselves and to open their doors, see each other, discuss things, unless you have those, you're not going to have confident maths teachers. Teachers are growing in confidence, I would say, in our school, rather than confident, which implies a finished product, almost. Um, and I think the important thing for teachers to enable them to develop and grow is to have that awareness of things that they're not so strong on, as well as the things that they do know. And having that openness to, to learning, inquiring, finding out more, having dialogue with other colleagues who might be able to support them. It has that effect of really spreading um, subject knowledge, pedagogical knowledge, and creating a culture where everybody grows together. Confident maths teacher is someone when a child says something to you that just seems totally crazy, which happens, especially if you teach young children, is a, a teacher who isn't thrown by it. Because when you're trying to teach them something and they give you something which is totally different to what you might be expecting. A confident teacher is someone, I think, who, who knows how to deal with that uh, in a way which actually develops the thinking of the children in the classroom. So when a child says something bizarre, what do you do? Do you just ignore it and move on? Or how do you deal with that? And I think that's a really important thing because with this approach, you're not just teaching one way, you're, you're exploring the thinking in the room. So you have to be equipped and feel confident to deal with things that perhaps a way of thinking that you'd never thought of before yourself.